In a stainless steel freezer at 190 degrees below zero, a stack of boxes housing vital research material emerges, like a scene out of a show on the Discovery Channel. Here's an example where we have all the different vials of cells frozen away. Each vial contains 10 million frozen cells, cancer cells, specifically lymphoma, one of many cancers the BC Cancer Agency in Victoria is trying to find a cure for. And this is an example of a tumor that will... But it's these cells Dr. John Webb is most interested in, cervical cancer cells from a mouse treated with an experimental vaccine, one that's showing promise in the fight against cervical cancer. It's a very common disease, HPV, uh, so the thought is that most people will probably be exposed to HPV over their life once they become sexually active. Cervical cancer and the human papillomavirus that causes the cancer can be an uncomfortable topic to discuss. HPV is a sexually transmitted virus that in 5 to 10 percent of the cases can lead to cervical cancer. It's why women are encouraged to get a yearly pap test to catch the precancerous cells. We catch the, the vast majority of cancers through PAP, our PAP screening programs. But there are those that sneak through and still in BC we get about 150 cases of cervical cancer per year here in BC. There are vaccines for HPV ones doctors and health professionals encourage girls age 9 to 12 to get before they're sexually active. The vaccines don't cure HPV or cervical cancer, but work is underway right here in Victoria to find one that will. A lot of people don't realize that there are actually 20 different strains, over 20 different strains of HPV that can cause cancer. And so the current prophylactic vaccines protect against two of those strains. Uh, the vaccine that we're developing actually protects against five of those strains. But HPV isn't just a concern for women. Doctors say they're now seeing the virus lead to head and neck cancers in men. So the research Dr. Webb and his team are doing couldn't come at a better time. They're about a year away from testing a therapeutic vaccine called Pentarix. The vaccine would treat and cure precancerous HPV and cervical cancer. We have these preclinical models in mice where we actually implant HPV positive tumors in the mice. We give them our therapeutic vaccine and the nice thing about this vaccine is it acts very, very quickly. So with, within a matter of two to three weeks, the tumors generally regress in these preclinical models. And Dr. Webb's work has got a recent financial boost, a $65,000 grant from Genome BC. So the Dealey Centre around the world is known for this expertise and we're really excited to be able to work with them on a, in an area which is not just good for British Columbia but also for Canada and the rest of the world. Genome BC funds projects in forestry, fisheries and human health and looks for projects where there is likely to be an immediate impact. We try to do that in areas not only of chronic care but of moving our concerns or our investment from chronic, chronic care into early stage or preventative medicine. Dr. Webb says the research is promising and he's hopeful that his therapeutic vaccine can soon be used alongside radiation therapy, the current treatment. He says more money for research is needed, but if all goes as planned, clinical trials could begin one year from now. In Victoria, I'm Nikki Ewanishan for The Daily.